Hello everybody. Today I'm walking through a cemetery. I know this, to some of you this might seem a little scary. And you know what, it's kind of scary when you go to one. You know, you look at this cemetery. And in reality, this is where we're all going to be one day. It's inevitable. We're all going to die. And it's really scary, you know, thinking about it. Right now, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i be 30 in like two months. And I am closer to death. You know, and every day closer. Um, you know, it's scary to think about that. I say that because this weekend we just had baptisms. And uh, for a lot of people, it's really scary, baptisms. Um, and, you know, I was freaked when I thought about it, too. You know, giving up, surrendering my life to Jesus. Uh, you know, the baptism is a symbolism of going into the water and rising up a new person. Um, and it's really scary. But, you know, what I've been thinking about is that we all have to we have to face reality that one one day we are all going to die one day we're all going to die and the beautiful thing of baptism is is that you die early <clears throat> you actually die willingly the bible says that when you go into when when you come to christ you're a new creation the old has passed away the new has come in second corinthians <clears throat> it talks about that so baptism i know it's scary giving your life up to God, but what really happens is that you die to yourself. Your your old life dies. You die early. You give it up early. And in exchange for that life, God gives you eternal life. He gives you the confidence and the assurance that you will have eternal life, that one day when you go into one of these, that's not your eternal home. Your eternal home is in heaven with God. You know, this, is may, this may be where your bones lie until we're all resurrected. But it's not your home. And that's a beautiful thing. And, you know, I know it's scary to give your life up to Jesus. And maybe you don't know whether you believe in Him, whether He's real. All those are great questions to ask. And I encourage you to search for the answers because there are answers. And there are good answers. And I've done my searching and I've made my choice. But I believe that it's scarier to face the unknown without him. And it's scarier to it's scarier to to believe that he doesn't exist, that there is no God, that there is no life after life after death, because there's so much evidence that there is. Jesus himself is the greatest proof, and he rose from the dead. And you can look up this all, this is all historical facts here we're look, talking about. I know it's disputed, um, but there's great evidence for it. And more than that, I've seen it in my, my life and my dad's life, that Jesus is real. So my encouragement today is that for everyone who may be scared of baptism, I'd say, you know what, it's actually life. That's, that's where life begins, is when you give up this old life that's dying and that's sinful, and you give it up to the new life, to Jesus, that's forgiven, and the relationship with God is birthed, and your eternal eternity is secured, and you're blessed with His grace, and you walk with Him in life. It's a process, but it's one that's growing. So I would encourage you to think about baptism in a new light, that it's actually life from the dead and we're dead right now in our sins but Jesus gives us life so I hope that encourages you we pray that every person would experience the regeneration through the Holy Spirit as you believe in Jesus the Son of God have a good night